Okay, race 30 on your card is the Francois Degane handicap hurdle over two miles, three furlongs. Four year old and up. Number one is Brighton Avenue Girl, T two Rio Bueno, three Fatal Moonshine, four Bullwinkle, five Peace Passion Compassion, six Sunfire Burning, seven The Drunken Duck, eight Mystic Gal, nine Wheatfield Soul, ten is Imperial Light, eleven Lou Boo. 12 Royal Chelsea, Play Hurt is 13, 14 Deputy Dan, 15 Miss Larwood Mima, 16 Samp, 17 King Matanaka, <laughs> and 18 Abayan. And we appear to be on. Oh no, we thought we were on a helicopter again. They're away. They're starting to bend here. And straight into the first hurdle. And everybody's over that. So, but, uh, 11 left to jump of the 12. Straight into this left hand turn here. And oi toy. Couple getting caught wide again a Lou Boo and Royal Chelsea. And also Wheatfield Soul, but he's managed to tuck himself back in. So they take the second flight. And there's a sync leader here in Miss Larwood Mima, which is just a couple of lengths ahead of Mystic Gal in second. Then we've got Abayan third in the orange. And they're a length ahead of Bright Avenue Girl and Bullwinkle, which are together neck and neck. And further, just a further length back to Sunfire Burning, Peace, Passion, Compassion, Imperial Knight, Deputy Dan, Samp, as they take the third, one skips over that, one just still caught with the rear is Lou Boo, Miss Larwood and Mima in the front has probably extended its lead to two to three lengths now, as they take this left hand turn, so on their way down to the fourth flight of hurdles. It's Miss Larwood Lima Mima that leads from Mystic Gal in second. Then we've got Brighton Avenue Girl in the black and along the side the fence. Does seem like it's quite a tight little oval course this. If you caught wide, you're gonna suffer an extra few furlongs, I think. Anyway, it's Miss Larwood Mima. We're through five. We've all got over them so far. And again, jumping quite well. But it's Miss Larwood Mima, just uh, only leading by probably a length and a half now from Mystic Gal in the white. The one on the outside here is King Mutanaka. The one on the inside against the fence is Brighton Avenue Girl. The outside of Brighton Avenue Girl is, okay, I think that's Abayan. That could be and then Imperial Knight in the slightly darker orange. Take the six. No one's over that. Although it was a very slow jump again by Lou Boo at the back. As well as a drunken duck, which I think pretty much, I think it was a winner last time out. Could be wrong. Anyway, we passed the winning post. Circuit left to go. Just over nine furlongs left to run. And five left to jump. But we're still being led by Miss Larwood Mima. Drunk Brighton Avenue girl in second. On the outside of that is Royal Chelsea in the white. The one alongside the fence this is Mystic Gal in the, the pinky purple light white cap. And the one on the outside of that is Bullwinkle in the brown silks against the fence in the orange is Imperial Knight. Then we've got Play Hurt and Fatal Moonshine. All over that one. Inside the seven furlongs now, one that's getting caught really at the back is Abayan. And I think it's probably going to get pulled up, which is rare over a two mile three furlong race. But it's Miss Larwood Mima, just leads from Royal Chelsea. We've got Brighton Avenue Girl, Mystic Gal, Bullwinkle, the Drunken Ducks made some room, made some ground up now. We've got in the purple is Wheatfield Soul on the outside, the one nearest to us. Bit of a poor jump there by Rio Bueno. Dimboats itself self back to second to third to last. So we're inside five furlongs now. They take this left hand turn again. They approach the next flight, as we can see in the distance. So they're going to take the 10th. Oh no, it's a road, it's not a flight. My apologies. Though Abba Yan still hasn't been pulled up and still trying to get, get back, but he's probably 5th, 30 to 40 lengths. There's a couple gone really wide here as well. Anyway, it's Royal Chelsea that's decided to take up the lead as we watch Miss Larwood Mima go backwards. So it's Royal Chelsea that leads from the Drunken Duck in second. We've only got two left to jump, two furlongs left to run. One on the outside here in the purple is Wheatfield Soul, but he's, been, he's had to go the long way round the whole course. The other one making some good ground is the Deputy Dan here, but it's still Royal Chelsea that leads them into the last. It's Royal Chelsea from the Drunken Duck and Deputy Dan. So Royal Chelsea, Drunken Duck, Deputy Deputy Dan, they've both got to skip the one that's coming out of the pack is Play Her. They're over that together. Though the better jump was Drunken Dan. Drunken Duck, sorry. So he's look, Drunken Duck, it looks like he's going to take this. A Drunken Duck from Deputy Dan. One fa fatal moonshine finishing fast. But we just got up from third from a uh, long time leader there, Royal Chelsea. 
Let's wait for it. And it is the drunken duck for Kevin Meanahan. It was at the back at the end there. Come up to win this. Second was Deputy Dan from Graham Clutterbuck Stable. Third was Fatal Moonshine Joshua Sutherland. Four roll Chelsea Marty Cairns. And number five, Play Her Obi-Wan.